Hello everyone, today we're doing a video on hotkeys and they will be extremely useful if you want to play a more casual Supreme Commander and you want to get a lot better simply because in Supreme Commander you want to play as fast as you can and rather than moving the mouse faster you can start also pressing the keys on your keyboard with your other hand because one hand on the mouse, another hand on the keyboard uh, that way you use both hands to achieve um, more APM, more actions per minute. So my hotkey setup is very compact. As you can see on the top left corner, my hand barely moves from that corner of the keyboard. So it is very useful and I explain um, every hotkey and why would you want to use it. And they're going to be very easy and intuitive to use. So let's begin. So if you don't want to do a manual installation, you just want to have all the hotkeys in an easy manner, just go to the fav client, click on the burger on the corner where it says game preferences files. And then in the description, I'm going to give a link to my file. And then you just want to copy paste the game preference files from the download to here. And that should set up all the hotkeys automatically. Now let's begin explaining your Q your W and your E a lot, it's going to be really good. And your R, your Q, W, E, R, then it's going to be really good. And, and I put the best slash most used buildings on these hotkeys because you're going to be using them a lot. So let's begin. On Q, we have the Mexis. I'm going to go with you through all of these. So you can go, you press F1 to get your key bindings or you can just simply press key bindings here in the menu. Either one works well. And then you put build me mass extractor. Build mass extractor is with Q, as you can see there. Then build power generators with W. Then I think it's build builders, build builders, factories, quantum gateways with E meaning for factories if you press e you can also make engineers but when you have a builder such as the acu or an engineer if you press e and you keep pressing it you can cycle through a land factory an air factory and a navy factory which obviously we cannot build because we're on land then we have build radar i have it on r and y i i don't i will put it on r i don't really use the y one anymore and then build template that's how i make my tech one pd um as you can see here oh. oh oh yeah here so you can see here i have one for my pd you click here and it builds me this template that constates of the tech one pd and then the walls instead of having to do all of this i simply press one and there it is then if I press it again, I have this other nice little template for pigeons so that my engineer can build all of these pigeons without moving plus making them very separate and then it fits perfectly for a, and then it fits perfectly for an air factory to have perfect adjacency with it. So it's really good. Then the next hotkey I have is anti-air. Ah, uh, no, wait, wait. Static AA, not anti-air, guys. Static AA for two. Why? Because for one, I press for uh, one and two are my defenses. Um, and if you want, you can put on three. You can put your torpedo launcher. I don't really make torpedo launchers a lot. They're not very good. They're only good against submarines. Um, one and two, one for like a PD. It's going to be in my template. So it's going to have all my walls and stuff ready. And two for my anti-air. So it's kind of easy to remember where my defenses are. If one, well, if one is here, then two is going to be the next one. And then if you have torpedo launcher, you can assume three. I used to have wall on four. I have to, I had a one, two, three, four setup, but I don't really use that that much anymore. If you don't know how to make a template, um, let's say I have this and let's say I make the engineers build it really quick for me. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay. I want to make the template. You say, uh, you want to select the PD and then you want to select the walls you want to do this on a custom game of course and where it says here it says save template you click it and then when you go to your 
to your builder it's gonna be at the end i think so this one i made first and then i have for another bit of making these factories plus you can see it's here now so that's how you make a template with that uh, and then actually the next one i'm gonna be using is selecting idle factories it's gonna select all of our idle factories no matter how far we are from them it's really good because you spend less time oh let me see my factory it's idle or, or like here and you like I'm not having to click this you instead can do it like this you have more control instead of having to click here um so you can easily uh i sometimes press tab just out of habit to see i don't have any idle factories because as we know idle factories are pretty bad and then what's the next step well we already did a what's the word build template now we're gonna do i got them now we're gonna do a unit template as you can see here how do you do this if i remember correctly you um you simply make your units then you come here and then you click on this button that says save template and there you go now you have your template which the hotkey for that is build template uh build template uh shift to uh so yeah you can do stuff like select this one select this one select this one now for my air units if I want to, let's say, only select the inties, here they are nice and grouped up. But if they are, let's say, flying through here, and I want to select them, well, what do you see? I selected everything. I just wanted to select my inties. I just want to select my inties. It takes a lot of other things with it. So we have Control A to select the inti air, air, air fighters. This is going to select all your air, uh, interceptors, swift winds, and ASF. Control S to select all bombers. This is gonna select everything that can drop bombs from the air to the ground, except gunships because they're not bombers. And then on Control D, I have to select the idle air scout. So this one's already moving, as you can see. So it's not idle anymore. But once I cancel its order, um, it comes back to us. So like instead of having to like, what's the word usually? You have all your air units group, uh, grouped up like this when they're on the factory. Um, having these three hotkeys helps a lot on like, oh, I just want to select the, let's say the freaking, what is it called? Air Scout. Uh, uh, where is it? Oh, it's here? No, 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 you simply, God damn it, can you just stop moving so I can work? Let's say it's idle and you do this and then you want to move your air and then, oh, I want to do this something with these bombers. And boom, in less than a second, you did those three things. The hotkeys are select all uh, air fighters, select uh, bombers, and select idle, idle air, select nearest idle air scout, control D. And I use control with them. I don't remember what I do with the shift A, shift S. I don't really do anything if I recall correctly. Uh, but anyhow, coming to another that's really good is that let's say I want to cancel this whole queue. Uh, I don't really have the time to be like clicking all of these. So what you can do is let's say we have this very long hotkey. I have this key that I don't remember its name, but pretty much you press it. The hotkey is to cancel all the orders except the last one. I mean the first one or the current one. And then there's another one that instead of doing this, it's gonna it's gonna do this for us. It's gonna cancel everything, and you can usually do like God. I keep pressing shift one. Um, you can do cancel all orders, build them AA, and then continue building. And this way, if you're being attacked by a bomber, you can clear the queue really quickly, build the anti-air you need, and then continue with your buy. Um, another one that's, oh, and that's, oh, stop, it's stop orders, stop and cancel orders except the current one, which I put on my tilt, and then the shift one stops and cancels everything. This also works for the ACU, if you have it, like, going here, and then you press the tilt, it stops, same with the other units. <coughs> um... Another good one is Shift B, selects all engineers. This is good because obviously, like you know, if there's a single tank, then 
it doesn't work as well. Let me control case some units because I'm recording and it's kind of like lagging us up a little bit. This is much better now, I think. Hopefully. Oh boy, let me lower my video thing images, maybe. I don't know why I'm getting so little FPS. Did that help at all? A little bit, but anyways. Why should it be important? Because if I select everything here, I have to select an engineers, and if I just want to select the engineers, I just press Shift B, and then I can build the anterior I need, or I can build the PD I need immediately. Then I also have this one. Oh, the, yeah, I'm gonna show both actually. I have select nearest idle engineer to the cursor. It's very important because, like, you know, I see this engineer and I want to do this. Or like, let's say I have, I don't know, oh, I, I want, I really need the closest engineer here to build a radar. And I can do that. Or maybe here, I need, oh, shit, you're really far. You know, like, you can know where is the most idle one that's not doing something already. And why do we want it idle? Because let's say this engineer is building, I don't know, this thing. I don't want to select him and cancel his orders because if I'm making him build this, then I don't want to, you know, select engineers that already have orders because then I'm going to start fucking myself over. The hotkeys for that is select nearest idle engineer is shift tab and then select all engineers on the screen. Not all the engineers on the whole map, just on my screen. So if I select this, I only selected these four. If I do this, I clearly select all of the engineers. What else? Another one, shift one, I have it as select the nearest mass extractor, which funnily enough, uh, I didn't milk any mass extractors in this tutorial because I made a parallel. But let's say you are on the map and oh, you want to upgrade, you just press shift one. Oh, and I still have mass, let me upgrade another one, and oh, I still have mass. You know, it takes you less time um, going here, selecting the mix and clicking it when you can instead just shift one and select the mix. And that is select nearest uh, lowest tech either mass extractor. And I'm not sure if that's it. Oh, I know one. I think I read. Sorry, I'm not sure. Um, a and S for reclaim without shift or anything. This is very important if you want to get better. It's a little bit annoying, but uh, let's say you're going to reclaim a lot, and you know you want to do a lot of manual reclaim, and you can do something like this, and you can easily like you know move your engineer to do like a better job here i drop shift like a total noob but just remember to hold shift while you're doing this or it's very sad but as you can see i'm pressing a lot with it otherwise without it it can be very like you see it's very difficult and then you have to be ma mesh mashing at your right click like a madman and that's not very good for your fingers or your apm and I believe those are all the hotkeys. Let me do a double check with 